guys. It's oh. another Saturday, and today is gonna be a big day. Yeah. Is uh, we have the motor. It's going back in, and the trans, which is somewhere over there, that pile of stuff, is going in as well. And the idea is today's Saturday, and by tomorrow we want to be able to at least start the car. We still got some suspension work to do and like roll the fenders and all that because that hasn't been touched yet. But that is the plan. So uh, today is kind of a short day. I mean, we have it's morning, but at least we try to get some some stuff bolted in and we get the motor in. So yeah, we'll see what we can do today. So we can pose with it. Yeah. So first things first. Uh, the car has been sitting in this position for pretty much two weeks now and it's getting really tight like I already ripped my shorts over there on the toolbox so we're gonna put the steering linkage in real quick and roll it down the driveway so that way we can kind of push it over about a foot and get a little bit more working space now that the pile of parts is uh, getting smaller uh, we have a little bit more room on this side to do that and that's what we're gonna do right now so we'll be right back so Justin tell me about these motor mounts um, so these are TIG Works motor mounts. Um, I forgot what the bushing rating is, but I've always wanted them. Maybe because they're gold, but I noticed last time we did this swap, there was an issue that... Look at that play. But the bushings wore out, so TIG Works got good customer service. <laughs> he sent me bushings and they've sat for about a year. And uh, now that the motor's out, I'm gonna replace them. Um, it says I'm only one of two to have this problem, so we'll see if it happens again. So that's, that gold color piece is solid and pushing is the other ones. Yeah. So we'll pop these out and put the new ones in. And just to show you what the other one looks like, you can see why we're doing this. Yeah. So motor's in, and uh, now we're just gonna button it up, throw a couple of accessory things on, and uh, push it back in the garage, and it probably be all for today. So today's a big day. It only took us two weeks to get here, and we're about a week behind, but today's the big day. So as you can see, the board's empty. And Justin's making a list of things that we need to do to get this thing started today. All right, so on this, on the old car, we're running a WX clutch um, to a, the stock Outback transmission because um, I like the four lemon gearing better. And uh, but actually, if you're running the older five speeds, you can use a 0607 WX clutch as an upgrade if you need to hold more power. And you just got to run, obviously, the clutch setup. The 0607 pivot ball and the 0607 clutch port. Um, but something I did know when I did it is that you can kind of tell, I'll show you better in a second, but it rubs on one of the ribs and you got to trim it down. So I didn't know that. And we always had kind of a crappy clutch pedal feeling. And when we pulled it apart, we found out why, because since it was rubbing there, it actually broke the pivot ball. The stud. So now we're gonna try and uh, easy out it, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, um, didn't go as to plan. Uh, extractor didn't work, drilling it out. Messed up the hole bad enough to where I had to go and buy a helicoil and, uh, and do that. So I was too frustrated to record any of that. But now, the new pivot ball goes in just fine, so. 
Cool. So that's done. I'm going to actually take it back out and finish clearancing that rib so we don't break another one. And uh, that's that. About to grind out a rib. Uh, <laughs> I've been over here on the engine. Uh, so let me button these things up. You got all the fuel stuff done. Washer bottles back in place. Belts are back on. Intake back on. Started plugging some connectors. And maybe I'll leave these ones out for now until we get to transit because uh, I'm not sure where all these go. Um, yeah. So, get closer. Once that transmission's done, we can pop that back in place, and then I can put in the radiator. We don't do that yet because the engine is still moving. As you can see, I still have a jack under there to keep the position back. But we're gonna have to take the jack out, and then it rotates forward, and I don't want to damage the jack, the radiator that goes in front of it. And that's where we're at. Transmission's in. Uh, wheels are off. Cars on jack stands because we left the axles in. So in order to get the trans in without the axles being in the way, we needed to remove the strut bolts, right? Or the coilover, lower coilover bolts, camber bolts, whatever you want to call them. So that way we could swing this thing down and drop it out and then put everything back together. Uh, reconnect the brake lines because they car had no brakes for the last two weeks. We're still going to do that. Uh, the Clutch master cylinders in with the slave cylinder. It's bled, heater hoses. I really already mentioned the fuel lines. Put the radiator in, radiator hoses, connectors. Um, I did Justin's headlights and routed his HID wiring. It's a little bit cleaner. Um, tomorrow we have more electrical connectors as you can see here and here. Uh, one of our buddies gave us a new upper reservoir, which we're going to swap out. Uh, we're going to have to add all the fluids. Uh, we didn't really touch any of the fluids. They're still sitting there with the bottle. I think the only thing we did was the clutch. So yeah, uh, we thought we were going to get this started tonight, but instead of uh, half-assing stuff and dicking around, uh, we're going to go ahead and just call it a night and start fresh tomorrow and hopefully get these few last things done so we can at least start the car. So, anything else to say, Justin? No? I'm tired. I'm hungry. Over. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye. All right. So, it's another day, and we're almost done. Uh, Justin and I already made a list of things that we're going to do today or things that need to get done to start the car. Uh, here's the list. I don't feel like going over everything, but as you can see, we have a couple, a couple things to do. The two things with stars are things that we don't necessarily need to do today to get the car started, but I'll just put it on the list because uh, we'll forget later. Justin's working on inside wiring. We gotta run um, a wire for the fuel pump. Right? Mm -hmm. And we gotta button down some things on the inside, uh, like underneath the dash and whatnot. So he's gonna go and get started on that while he's still clean. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this coolant reservoir, try to get the intercooler back on, and the battery in, and do stuff with the engine bay. So we'll be right back. Alright, well, we tackled some of the things on the list. Uh, the engine looks Almost complete. Very nice. So now we're just gonna do some fluid changes. Decided to do some recording while I let the oil drain. As I'm changing the oil filter, I'm gonna fill it back up. Just go right back. Justin was able to button up most of the wiring. Let's take a quick look. Not much going on here, but we just plugged in a couple things. Things are looking more normal. the noise in the background for doing laundry. Here's what you asked for. Here's the greaser. I know Justin's uh, getting kinky with uh, the pump and uh, filling up the diff. And you gotta the front after that. Or the actual transmission because it's all one unit. All good? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. 
couple more things to do. And yeah. hopefully that's about an hour or so of work so we can uh, actually start this thing up and first time in two and a half weeks. We'll be back. Here's the wipers. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, you turn it off and the wipers like... Do we have the wiper? Here, hold on. There's a bunch of crap over there on the wiper motor side with stuff. Get all out of the way. Hey, there's a loose ground somewhere. I can hear it. Is it because you're moving stuff and it's clicking? I mean, there was stuff on the grounds. Light. One moment though. Oh, can you go around and plug the EC here? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. The wiper motor thing is tripping me out. Yeah. I'm bleeding. <laughs> it's slowing down. All these. Thank <laughs> you. 